Migrant Detention, 28-Day Limit The United Kingdom is on the edge of implementing a 28-day limit on detention for all immigrants. Stay updated with the latest UK visa immigration and Brexit updates by subscribing to our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. More than 10 Conservative MPs have declared their aim to modify a section of Brexit rule to terminate the United Kingdom's indefinite detention policy. In a letter to Home Secretary Sajid Javid, they stated the policy undermines our proud traditions of justice and the rule of law. The United Kingdom is the only country in European Union that does not force time limits on immigration detention, however the authorities claims it does not detain migrants forever, and the law does not permit it. But with the government in a minority in Parliament, and Labour and the Scottish National Party at present showing their backing for a time restraint, the Tory group would possibly tilt the stability and could influence a modification to the regulation within weeks. Indefinite detention helps no one, states the letter, signed by Conservative MPs with previous Brexit Secretary David Davis, former Attorney General Dominic Grieve and former Business Minister Anna Subri. The immigration law at present before Parliament offers an opportunity to put this right. The idea to defend an alteration to a pre-Brexit bill at present being deemed by Parliament. The bill was crafted to eliminate the right of EU citizens to free movement in the United Kingdom, and set the platform for the United Kingdom's post-Brexit immigration strategy. Three Labour MPs listed an improvement which would apply the 28-day detention limit. Once that restriction was touched, an immigrant may well not be detained for a second time, up until there had been a material change of circumstances that explained their detention. The government has not judged out agreeing a time limit on detention, when the bill appears for a vote in the House of Commons in March 2019. A Home Office spokesperson said, the government was looking thoroughly at the matter of time limits to apprehend, how we can have a detention system that is rational to those who may be imprisoned, supports our immigration policies, and acts as a warning to those who may try to aggravate those rules. Sajid Javid had instructed a reassess of how time limits work in other countries, though the spokesperson refused to tell whether Australia was among those researched. But the Home Office spokesman stated that the majority individuals detained under the United Kingdom's immigration potencies spend only small periods in detention. In September 2018, 91% of those restrained were either deported or on the loose within 16 weeks, and 4% were detained for more than half a year two-thirds left detention in less than four weeks. In January 2019, a Parliamentary Human Rights Committee published an article endorsing a 28-day time limit on detention. With no such time limit, there is a decreased motivation for officials to proceed cases promptly, the committee report stated. Detention should be operated only where it is essential and fair. Indefinite detention triggers suffering and nervousness and can cause mental sickness and worsen mental health conditions where they already exist.